<laughs> so Nita saying you should sacrifice your bills, your mortgage, your rent, your whatever, and give to the man, woman, God, and God will bless you. See, that's what I said. Subject is subjective about living right, talking right. Because in my opinion, she's thinking, hmm, I need the right way to con these motherfuckers. Get this money. I got it. I will tell them that God will bless them if they give. And I will sell these fools, these thousand dollar handkerchiefs. Because, yes, for those that don't know, she had one thousand dollar handkerchiefs uh, that you can get, you know, at this service. And people, people buying them or well, getting them. Yeah. Because yeah, now here's my question. You need that handkerchief to get a prayer through. That's just going to really do it. A thousand dollars to get a prayer through. Baby, listen. See, here's the thing. When I was a Christian, I went through, I've been at every auxiliary in the church. I was a bench warmer first. Then I, I became a um, Bible study teacher. I became, I was a choir member. I was an usher. I was a trustee. Well, not a trustee. I did help count the money. I just helped the trustees out. And I was a minister. I know how to run a church. I could, if I really wanted to be, oh God, if I was like, if I had the spirit of Juanita, I would do it because church, because these motherfuckers are getting over. And, but y'all make it easy for them to get over because y'all fall for the bullshit. Like I said, this chick had $1,000 handkerchiefs. But do y'all remember when she did the um the prayer shawls that she said she had laid in and prayed over to the Holy Spirit? And did all this stuff and sold them for, I forgot how much she sold them for. But she made bank off of y'all. So yeah, y'all make it easy. Like I, said, I don't have that type of spirit. That's not in me to get over my people. That's I don't I don't like that. I don't like seeing it, and I don't like I wouldn't. Yeah, I can't do that. But anyway, once again, that's why I said it. it's not what you believe in because they do believe in Jesus. I well, I don't even believe they believe in Jesus because here's my thing: if you really believed in the stuff that you are preaching and singing about, you wouldn't do half. These people do half the shit they do. If you believed you, if you really believed in hell, as you preach and say about. You wouldn't cheat these people. You, Brian Karn, wouldn't be out here doing fake prophecies from witches. You wouldn't be screwing other people's wives, giving them the can't get rid of. Allegedly. I'm saying allegedly because I don't want to be sued. I ain't got nothing. But if you, if you sue me, uh, you have a deep freezer full of food and my cake recipes. But bitch, I ain't got no money. But anyway, yeah, so the, the, before this ends, yeah, that's what I want to say. What you believe in has nothing to do with your character. 